Watch this incident allegedly happened on a Lincoln County school bus with video cameras rolling. And WCNC reporter Michelle Bowden talked with parents and investigators and has the exclusive report from Lincoln County tonight. Very disturbing allegations that involve two first graders that got on the bus going home here at Northbrook Elementary School. Parents of one little boy say they got on the bus and sat in the very first row of the bus, so videotape actually captures much of the incident. When they first heard about it, they came here to the school demanding that the principal show them that videotape, and the sheriff's department confirms it is part of their investigation. His mom will tell you he's little even for a first grader, and he has a tough time time because of it. There's one boy in particular that spoiled him all year long, beating him up, hitting him. The seven-year-olds ride the same Lincoln County school bus home. It's been really difficult, really difficult. She says school officials promised months ago to keep the boys apart. So she says she was flabbergasted when her daughter came home and told her. It had something happen to him on the bus. And I said, well, what happened? And he said, and she said the little boy's name and pulled down his pants and kissed his pee, pee And she says. But before he did that, he was beaten over the hell with the book back. And on the school bus videotape, she says you see the boy forcing her son to pull his pants down. I asked him, I said, what happened? Did anything happen on the bus? And he said, yeah, and he started to cry. Lincoln County Sheriff's detectives are investigating. One of the children pulled their pants down, uh, and the second child touched him inappropriately. She says it's changed her son since it happened. He went from an easygoing, carefree kid to very angry. To me, it's molestation, no matter if it's a seven-year-old or not. We tried to talk with school officials. The assistant superintendent would not talk with us on camera, but did tell us, quote, appropriate actions have been taken to provide a safe environment for the students, end quote. Reporting now from Lincoln County, I'm Michelle Bowden for Carolina's News Connection.